and I know this woman, she lives in New York, and I want to make it very clear, we should not have parrots as pets. It's a, it's a 24 hour a day job. Uh, but anyway, this woman, she didn't know that. She's an artist, she's always loved birds, and she got a captive born parrot, and she called him Nkisi. She also got I think five other parrots, she wanted him to have a flock, so it was the best possible captivity. And in Kisi, she decided, you know, we teach parrots by holding up a glass and saying glass, and finally the parrot will say glass because they imitate, and then he gets a peanut or something. So we don't teach our children to talk that way, we talk. So she decided to treat in Kisi as though he was a child. And he began to say words, and she gave him a lot of these mechanical toys with, with uh, battery-operated toys, including these, um, including these boards where you press A and it says A is for apple. She thought that would be a good thing for him. And she also had an iguana, which she shouldn't have had either, and it died. <laughs> and she's very emotional, and so she was burning sweet grass and lighting candles, and she had a box for a coffin and the iguana was laying on the ground and Amy was crying and Kisi comes flying over and has a look and after a bit he says, try a new battery. <laughs> it's, um, you know, it's funny but doesn't that tell you a lot? Doesn't that just think into that little brain, you know? He does a lot of other things. He writes poetry, and he's now drawing. He holds the pen in his beak. Are you going to suggest another YouTube video? We all, we all made note of the octopus and the coconut shell, but if there, there's a YouTube channel for this, we would love to see You know, Amy doesn't like anything like that. <laughs> Dr. Jane, it has been so 